click 10, save. So this is now how far 10 clicks can get you in Power BI Desktop. Hello everyone, Matthew Yu here. In today's video, we are going to talk about Power BI Copilot finally be on Power BI Desktop. With that, developers now can save the Copilot generated results on their local desktop. As for a short demo today, let's see how far 10 clicks can get us with Power BI Desktop. For those of you who don't have the Power BI Desktop or need an update, you can go to the Windows bar and search and type in the Windows Store or type in the store. Once clicking in, you can search at the top for Power BI Desktop and select and click either Git, Update, or Download the Power BI Desktop. After launching your Power BI Desktop, click File at the top left. Click About, and making sure your version is later than the April 2024 version. Click Close, click File again, we will go to Options and Settings. We click Options. There are two settings that we are going to change. Number one will be Preview Features. Scroll down. We will make sure Copilot Chat Pane in Report View. This is on. And also, we will go to Copilot Preview at the left side. We will be selecting a workspace. Please be sure the workspace that you selected has Power BI Premium or Power BI Fabric attached on that. If you are not sure what I mean, please check with your Power BI admin for more information. I will select a workspace that I already know. I will click OK and click OK to save it. You should be able to see Copilot button at the top pane. If your screen doesn't show like this, you can try to exit out the application and re-enter Power BI Desktop. Or making sure in the preview, in the option, everything has been checked. As for our test data today, we will continue to use Redfin real estate data in the US housing market. I typed in a city that I would like to try. And I will make sure the table view has been selected at the right side. I will scroll down and until I see this download all. And now the data has been downloaded. Let me open this file. This is a CSV file shows the house listing today. They give the basic information such as the address, city, what is the square feet, and what is the HOA, and even the link for that housing. I will go ahead and delete the second row as it's not useful. And I will save this and I will save this file. Let's see how far 10 clicks can get us. Click one, get data. Click two, CSV. Click three, select file. Click four, open. Click five, load. Click 6, open Copilot. Click 7, suggest content for this report. Click 8, I select property type insights. Click 9, create. Click 10, save. So this is now how far 10 clicks can get you in Power BI Desktop. Let's review the service. The Power BI Copilot on the desktop is using the exact same service and the backend and the frontend of the Power BI web experience. So everything that you experience on the web is the same as on the desktop. But with desktop, the generated results now can be saved to your local. We all know that today, Power BI Desktop has way more features than the web experience, such as using DAX, create new features, 
or query editing. With the results parked in the local, you can continue with more advanced editing and save your progress in the PBX local file. As for the last point, because it is the same module that Power BI used from the web services, so the desktop version of Copilot shares the same considerations and limitations of the web version. You can read more from the Power BI page, and I will put the link in the description below. For example, you cannot tell which kind of visuals to create, and it cannot modify the visuals after it generated them. That is the short demo for today. I hope the content is helpful. Please give it a try and let me know your thoughts and feedback. I will see you in the next video.